This is Dr. Mobin Sayed from drbean.com. Welcome to one more show. So today I want to provide you a summary of the clinical takeaways for inflammation related lectures that we are doing separately on Zoom. We do a lecture on Tuesdays, a lecture on Thursdays. And here are the takeaways. This is a summary of the anti-inflammatory molecules, supplements, herbs and lifestyle choices that we can make. So no disclosures. Why do we need to understand the inflammation at this level? Most of the time the inflammation is taught with here are the cells, here are the molecules and here are the mechanisms. What I want to uh, discuss or stress is that the inflammatory pathways are at the heart of inflammation and we need to understand how to modulate them. Researchers know it. That is why they keep bringing up new drugs and keep trialing new drugs because they know here are the pathways and there are thousands of those and they know how to start modulating them to see what is the result. However, we on the other hand are told to keep an eye on various immune cells and various immune mechanisms. We need to focus on the inflammatory pathways as well, especially PLR pathway, NLRP pathway, nuclear factor kappa B, MAP kinase, JAK stat pathway, arachidonic acid pathway and some other. Once again there are hundreds of pathways but these are important controllers. Let's look at the clinical uh, modulators of these pathways. First of all antioxidants. Because of the microplastics, because of the pollution, because of the dirt and dust and so many other food agents that are not really healthy for us, especially in the processed foods, we develop a lot of reactive oxygen species or radical molecules in our body that attack our cells and damage and cause inflammation. So vitamin C, antioxidant, vitamin E, NAC, glutathione, they're all antioxidants and CoQ10 as well. So if I had to choose one or two, I would for sure go for NAC, glutathione and CoQ10. However, I think we all should have our, our supply of vitamins to make sure that our levels are correct. Then arachidonic acid pathway and we have done the talks about it many times omega-3 more omega-6 less and then when do you need to have more omega-3 and no omega-6 I have done those talks that various states of the body will require various balances so it's not always take more omega-3 or not always take less omega-6 there is going to be a balance based on what is your body state. Then the toll like receptor pathway this is the pathway that becomes activated when there are infections or viruses or or other tissue damage patterns that appear. Vitamin D is a very important modulator of these pathways and should be taken with vitamin K2 as well, MK7. So talk with your doctor, figure out what is the right balances to be taken but vitamin D is very important. Similarly vitamin B12, vitamin A, zinc, copper and iron they all help modulate T tall like receptor pathway which is a major inflammatory pathway. NLRP3 pathway which is activated or primed by toll like receptor pathway and then this pathway is quite dangerous for us because it can bring the cells towards inflammatory state or inflammasome state or pyroptic, pyroptotic state where the cells would just die and during their death they would cause a lot of inflammation. Vitamin D once again is a very important uh, molecule here. Vitamin D can move the cells away from pyroptosis and towards autophagy and healing or apoptosis which is a more graceful way of dying without causing inflammation than pyroptosis. Curcumin, omega-3, resveratrol, Mediterranean diet, exercise. Again I have taken some of it. There are tons of molecules that can modulate these pathways. If you actually know some, some molecule that is even better or you have an experience with it, put that in the comment. Then MAP, sorry, nuclear factor kappa B pathway, curcumin, Omega-3, resveratrol, quercetin, MAP kinase pathway, curcumin, ginseng, resveratrol, quercetin, EGCG, the, the green tree extract and many other flavonoids present in the fruits, vegetables, legumes and many more. Then for anybody who is suffering from inflammation, I would suggest that they talk with their doctor to see morning walk and evening walk. This is a walk when the sun is at an angle and near infrared light is more than the thermal light and that is really helpful for mitochondrial health plus for reducing the inflammation. In addition to that, CoQ10, 
is also very important for mitochondrial health coq10 is also very good for an, as an antioxidant so mitochondrial health then walk when you're going to walk walk near trees or plants and the essential oils the forest bathing that occurs that reduces the stress stress hormones which in turn is very much healing for us then intermittent fasting to trigger autophagy remember autophagy is also triggered by vitamin d so intermittent fasting vitamin d quercetin coffee resveratrol they all trigger autophagy of course the cell can trigger its own autophagy as well when it needs to however it needs help to do that because we continuously feed it with our feeding schedule of snacks and meals so either intermittent fasting and or the other products here less processed foods processed foods have lots of agents that cause oxidation in our body and they tip the redox balance and they cause inflammation or they trigger or they contribute products that would cause inflammation and of course less carbohydrates carbohydrates provide a lot of uh, uh, energy atp production and when the the mitochondria is running fast in that process it produces a lot of reactive oxygen species as well which then cause cellular damage and a lot of harm so at least antioxidants should be a regular product for us vitamin d should be regular for us then as i said omega-3 and and uh, quercetin and curcumin curcumin is a master of uh, inflammation control so is nsc which is a master of not only antioxidant but inflammation control as well so once again i put all this summary on one screen so that you can take a screenshot if need be not to make you read it so with this thank you very much like subscribe and share and in the description of this video there is a link to get access to drbean.com for 4.99 per month and you get access to another 800 lectures and if you wanted to have cmes there is a link there as well on drbean.com to offer you cme there is also if you go to articles on drbean.com there is a category of articles called chronic inflammation where you can go and see these lectures summaries plus the references to various molecules that i just discussed with this thank you very much and talk to you again